Hello guys. I see a lot of you guys have asked me to go back and to do whiteboard lessons. Uh, I think some people like that, uh, which I did before when I begin my channel. I did that and then I changed to the normal uh, setting with uh, the video editing. Now, since I am always teaching and trying to explain everything, and uh, people who don't differentiate things, I will begin always from the beginning. I know some people know this, but I'm try always to do my best. Okay, so in trading, we have what we call day trading, number one. So, day trading is to trade during the day. You should never hold a stock overnight. This is one of the main characteristics of day trading. Now, day trading, it doesn't mean that it is only you trade uh, during the, uh, the trading hours. So, day trading, you can trade from 4 a.m. in the morning to 9.30 a.m. and this is called okay and this is called uh, before trading hours okay uh, so before trading hours is when you want to trade at that time uh, there should be some news earning news or national news, international news, company news, anything that it is related to the news. That's why some people, they begin early to trade because they see something uh, good happening. For example, a uh, stock uh, was $25, okay, at 6 o'clock a.m. And then it begins to go up, let's say, to 29 at 8 o'clock. So, a lot of people, when they see the news, they see the stock is going up. So, they try to, uh, so they try to, um, to take advantage of this news and they see that stock is going up and they buy. Okay? This is why you can trade uh, before trading hours from 4 a.m. to 9 a.m. Now, understand that you should see your broker if it, it lets you trade at 4 a.m. or 5 or 6 or 7 or 8 because some, some brokers, for example, they begin at 8. Now, 7.30 you want to trade, uh, you find that your, your uh, broker is not linked to an exchange at that time because it doesn't pay too much money, okay? So it, it's, it's always related to money. Now, we begin now from trading hours from 9.30 to 4 p.m. This is where most of the people trade or they trade. This is what happened. Everything happens here. All the people come at 9.30 to 4 p.m. to trade. Especially from 9.30 uh, to 11.30. It means just the, the beginning, the, the first two hours, which is uh, the most important one. You can trade at any time until 4 p.m. Now, from 4 p.m. to 8 a.m., uh, 8 p.m., this is called after the trading hours. It's the same thing. People, they trade because there are news. Now, suppose there is no news. Most of the people, they don't trade when there are no news, no thing happening. Now, why is that? The reason for that, the bid and the ask, when you see the bid and the ask, let's say you see uh, Facebook, okay? Uh, just an example of Facebook. Let's say uh, Facebook is $170, 00, $170, one cent. So, the market the market makers when there is from 9 30 
to 4 p.m. since a lot of people they come and they buy Facebook and they sell some they buy some they sell you know a lot of activity so market makers what they do they keep the spread between bid and ask only one cent this is called the spread this is the money they get because they they sell it to you for 170 one cent and they buy it, they buy it for for you from you if you want to uh, sell at 170 so they get one cent now before trading hours and after trading hours few people they come to trade sometimes uh, few people only and they buy few shares so the market maker those who do the market the market maker sorry for the handwriting <clears throat> so the market makers who make the market they try if you go to facebook for example you see that the spread will be going more and more for example the bid is one is one 79 uh 79 for example and you go to the ask you find it 181 so you see that the spread is going so so wide okay now why is that it is just because the uh, the market makers try to protect themselves okay because if there is no uh, bid uh, if, if there is no there are just a few okay they will lose money so they don't want to lose money because they want to buy and sell buy and sell instantly they they don't buy and hold and after five minutes they sell no they should just match between sellers and buys okay now this is what we call day trading this is the normal day trading and in in day trading okay in day trading there are normal day trading and there is what we call scalping just to explain this and then we can go to the other one okay so uh, day trading we have the normal trading a normal trading it means uh, you uh, you buy in order to stay 15 minutes half an hour two hours three hours five hours the whole day okay this is called normal trading it means uh, you choose time frame like uh, two minutes or five minutes or ten minutes uh, what, whatever you like the time frame it means the candlestick when you see it the candlestick like this depends on each person for example for me i like five minutes okay i don't like two minutes i don't like 10 minutes i like five minutes it's uh, each person uh, and how do you want to see the candlestick it's just the time frame and it changes now we have b which is called scalping scalping is uh, when you trade a very very short time less than a minute or a minute or two or three you just buy when you see something going up and then you sell very quick you you need to have a lot of money and you need uh, to have money in order to trade very often okay because if you have only one thousand two thousand dollars you can't do that very good because you need money okay so this is what we call day trading which is um, the first thing we talk about now second thing we should go is <coughs> swing trading or it is called a short term trading okay so uh, this short-term trading the first thing you should 
you should understand is that whenever you hold overnight you are a swing trader now why you hold overnight because you want to hold for many days if the stock is going up in order to to get all that profit for all these days it could be days it could be weeks it could be even months it could be all these now why why people they do uh, swing trading w what's the reason why they don't just do day trading it's just because some people think like me that you follow the trend okay let's say a stock is $20 here we are in June 25th 2019 let's say you stay five months and now the stock is $55 okay so the reason for for staying is that you follow the trend and this is why you do swing trading you follow trends and that's why when you say swing swing it means you just go up and you can go down selling short whatever you want to do uh, following the trend and the more the trend is long the more you can make money depending on the stock movement okay so this is called swing trading now after that <clears throat> after that number three we have what to call position trading position trading is done by people who want uh, to stay longer from one year to three years okay it's like a, a combination of trading and investing so trading plus investing now why do people they do that it, it's just because they think for example there is um like for example before like google bought youtube just an example okay now people they just have an idea they say if google bought youtube youtube has millions of customers so google will have more customers ready and he can put ads ads on youtube so he can make more money so some people they say okay why not buy google now let's say google it is just an example okay it is seven hundred dollars now these people who are position trader think that this information since google bought, bought youtube it can lead that google will be appreciated by mutual funds and they buy it and it could go to 1000 or 2000 dollars in this one or two or three years so it's not really investing for the long run it is just uh, to seize this opportunity when google bought youtube just one year two years three years and they see if this will work this is called position trading now the last one we speak about is it is called investing now understand that investing you need to know the company itself you need to know the company to know
you need to know the the fundamentals of the company itself it means if you choose uh, to buy a company Warren Buffett said because he is the best known for investing you should think about 20 years of investing it means you buy something you buy a company and you think this company will be a success in the future because if you think that this company will disappear in one year or two years or three years why you invest in it okay so people when they invest they think that this company will stay because it is stronger because it has more earnings because because of, of a lot of things depending on the company and the competition because it is not just a good company it should be good and it should compete very very well to stay to stay and grow okay where well, we have seen for example uh, some companies they begin with one dollar they go to seven hundred dollars like Apple before okay or any other stock that goes through the years so so good because the company was small and then it becomes very very big now for you guys you should choose what is the best way to make money for the market is it day trading swing trading position trading or you be an investor so all these it depends all these it depends on the time that you should choose the time okay if you are very very active and you have a good uh, quick decisions you should go to day trading better if you like if you have a big breath as they say you should do swing trading because swing trading you follow the trends for two months three months six months eight months and you can accumulate a lot of money or you can uh, think about longer you you are focused on the company on the growth something happened to the company which is very good like for example a company a uh, drug company that get uh, for example approved by FDA food administration and it begin right now to sell products and it will be a success so that's why you go and you buy this company or if you have a very very long breath and you are for long-term investment it is better you do investing and you invest in many companies and you leave them for 10 years 20 years 30 years depending on the company and how related okay so guys this is the first video uh, to begin with and I will be uh, doing more videos like this but understand that uh, I can't do daily videos like this okay so I need time it might be one video a, uh, a week uh, and I will try to do my best and please guys uh, if you have questions whenever I, I explain something or you have another opinion or you have questions please comment on the on the video and send me an email if it is uh, something private send me an email and I will try to help you out okay so thank you very much guys please subscribe to my channel as always I know that there are a lot of people are just watching they don't subscribe and this will hurt the channel so please uh, just subscribe to the channel and ask your questions and I will be with you each week thank you very much